and maybe no one will be confused by um, the other one that we just screwed up. All right, so no one's watching right now, but for, woo, let's keep messing with that. Anybody that watches this later on, that's not live, uh, Cam and I, we're in a little bit of a challenge on making these pumpkin creatures. And we gotta get them painted up today and get them done before he leaves out so I can turn this into a uh, YouTube video later on. So this live, this live thing isn't really anything. You're not really gonna learn anything in this. We're just, you know, talking to people if they wanna come watch and talk. Other than that, we're still filming a YouTube video all at the same time uh, while we're doing this junk. And then later on next week, it'll be live. I'll post it to YouTube and it'll be cut and pretty and all that good stuff. So, all right. Finally, yeah, right? You missed almost every single one of them. So, you can probably start. Well, as soon as you decide to paint. So, we're going to paint these guys up. Um, we have a color limit over here. So not, I guess it's a limit. I don't know. We can use whatever as far as I'm concerned. Uh, yeah, we're just going to paint these guys and be done with it. And then once we, you know, make us a real video, you guys will choose who the winner is, which is, of course, me. Lupin, you're back. We'll see. Yes, my pumpkin deer did skip leg day. It's pretty. Oh, he's loose too. We gotta fix that real quick. Well, let's see. Where's my super? Glue. Hey, I think we can pull that drawer out right there. <clears throat> Some new super glue. Here. Whoa, don't pull out too far because it will fall. Let's get, let's get the leg fixed. Ugh. I'm looking at the colors. Maybe I can see. No, you think you can see? Do you want me to tell you what? <laughs> and Cam's, well. Sometimes he has problems with colors. Just need to shut up. Yeah, that's so nothing's been like. Mm -hmm. Do you want any advice or you just want me to let you go at it? I want to say I want some advice. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to do. Okay, what I'm going to do. Well, I know we don't have any kind of like really make a black base. Well, that's what I'm going to do, yeah. You are? Yeah, I'm gonna start painting it black because this will soak up the paint pretty quick and it'll dry pretty fast. Yeah, so I'm gonna base everything. I but I decided, so I'm gonna even try to cheat my pumpkin a little bit, and I'm gonna have to film this for YouTube as well. Uh, I am. I was gonna paint the skin on this thing, something different, but I'm not. I'm gonna wind up doing a, a kind of a black wash over and try to cheat it, and see if that works. If I have to paint it, paint it, I will, but. I'm hoping I can just do a wash on it and it'll be okay. But I am going to black out his legs and his arms and the vine and that stuff. And then start going over with dry brushes of different browns and stuff like that. I didn't know if we would have them. Yeah, because it should dry up. It should dry up. It should, yeah. So I just thought it was Thank you, Suzanne. I would have sort of. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and the smell of super glue. It's wonderful. All right, I'm going to do this real quick. Beep. 
you can keep doing what you're doing, doesn't matter. You can start your video too at any time. So as I get into painting this, <coughs> this thing here, uh, we're both kind of going in the same direction. I am going to base this in black. I'm going to base the stem all in black and the little arms and legs. And then kind of dry brush over it. I'm going to try to cheat this thing. Like, once again, we under time constraints, he's leaving soon. Uh, I'm going to try to cheat this and just do a black wash over this pumpkin color at the end. And hopefully it comes out good and then I don't have to, like, repaint this whole thing. Uh, we're going to find out. You guys are going to find out. But, uh, yeah, first thing we're going to do is paint this thing black. And stop. Uh, no. Because it would make it real. Yeah, I mean, it'll you can it'll spread further, but it makes it harder. It takes longer to dry, all that type of stuff. I'm not gonna thin my black out at all. Yeah, wood grain pumpkin would look pretty cool. I agree with that. <laughs> did you, did you, which one did you grab? A squirt bottle black? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna, um, nope, I'm just gonna go right out of this. Dude, it looks purple to me. No, I'm on. What? Gosh, it's purple. <laughs> That's black, bro. And I can't forget to uh, start these time lapses and not forget them. Like I did so many times the last time we were doing it. There we go. Time lapse going. Right on. And you guys aren't gonna be able you guys aren't gonna be able to see what I'm doing down here. Uh, because that camera's way up there. And we have two other cameras going all at the same time. To film this stuff for YouTube, so uh, you're just gonna have to trust that I'm I'm painting the base, and I'm just painting it black. That's it. I'm gonna do black, base everything out in black, and then just dry brush. Uh, some will be heavier dry brush, not light, but you know, start off, I'm gonna do some browns and things like that and work myself up to some lighter browns, maybe even some greens or whatever. This paper towel that we use, instead of doing um, clay, is actually pretty nice. It's got a lot of texture uh, in it. So this is gonna be, this is definitely a, uh, a dry brush paint just waiting to happen. Pick these textures up. Oh, and we do have the, uh, uh we've got in here too where we can speed up our, uh, drying, drying times. See, the thing that's going to be rough with that deal over there is, like, the cool thing about the iPhones for right now, I need to get, you know, if I buy different cameras, is I can film in time lapse, and that we can't film in time lapse. Yeah. So then, when I'm editing everything that's on your side, I've got to we'll do that in the edit, and that takes forever. Yeah, we're good. So you're painting a canvas. So you, is your whole canvas? Are you just doing a wood grain canvas, and then going to paint over the top of that, or are you just painting something on the canvas that's got a wood grain? Wood grain can be kind of a pain. It looks pretty tricky, but they make them, I don't know if it would work on the canvas deal or not. They've got those uh, wood graining tool things where you use like some different gessos or something or whatever, and then you take this tool and rock it across it, and it makes a wood grain. It actually looks pretty fast. I don't know if you could do that on canvas or not.
Yeah, see, this is already starting to dry in certain places. Uh, and then when I turn it, you'll see spots that are shiny. And those are spots that are still wet. You can take your brush and hit those spots and pull them through some more. You'll thin it out and it'll help it dry a little quicker. Yeah. I understand the basic principles of pain. I'm just exactly. saying. Why don't you guys just make jackass for that's what I've been doing, I've been pulling your pants as much as possible. This I was really always awesome to use. Ah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, the father son challenge deal's been pretty fun. Uh Although I don't think Cam was ready to come down and do this today. But I was like, come here, out of time. You got to leave after this weekend, so we got to get her done. It should make for a pretty uh, interesting YouTube video when everything's all said and done, too. I just want to get this done because I'm going to have to mow tomorrow on. The lawn is out of control. Your wood grain's in the background, right on. on how this goes. This could be a vast paint. Did you say vast paint? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I did, and then doing this live too, I'm always like, forgetting to check this other camera up here to make sure it's still in uh, focus. focus, yeah, in view. Hello, Berlin. How is it going? Oh, you got thunderstorm? That'd be nice. We haven't really had, we had one thunderstorm. It's been so dry here in Kansas this summer, hot and dry, and crazy. We did have a thunderstorm a week or so ago, which was kind of nice. And it was nice to hear it. Didn't last long. It dried right back out again. So almost for like, that's why my yard's kind of crazy right now, because it was like, for almost a month we had heat of over 100 degrees which we normally don't have around here so the grass is just kind of dying out and I didn't touch anything in the yard but weeds are growing those things grow no matter what and then we did get a little bit of that rain and now everything kind of just sprouted up and my yard looks like no one lives here it looks terrible Well, awesome. Hi from Dublin, from Ireland. Awesome, cool. I don't know how many uh, lives you've caught or if you've even watched any of uh, this series right here. I mean, this isn't, this really isn't a live series. We're just kind of doing it to see if people wanted to hang out and talk while we were doing this. Uh oh. We'll have a much better polished video once we're all done. Your 
first lie. Right on, right on. down a little bit harder this one I've been able to get into uh, I got a bunch of crevices too but I've been able to use this one to force down into it it's hard on the brush but it's a cheap brush so it doesn't really matter and if that one there doesn't work as soon as I get done with this big stem here I'll give you that one because a smaller paintbrush will get all of them on the my arms and legs you know because they're smaller well, hopefully this live doesn't bore you, uh, because basically Cam and I are shooting this for a standard YouTube video, so there's not a lot of teaching going on with this one. We're just turning it on so he wants to hang out and talk, while at the same time, you know, trying to, oh, see, I need to pull this up, same time trying to film. For you to man, we gotta get. I gotta get so much of this other stuff cleaned up back there and things hanging or whatever, so it just looks better in the videos. Yeah, it looks like a, a rough mess over there right now. But like I said, if this was just if I was just filming this by myself, the cameras would be facing completely different. We were going through a drought that last two weeks rained every day. Yeah, I could imagine that being super dry and then all of a sudden just, hey, what's up, Monster Misfits? What's going on, man? Being a, in a drought like that and then all of a sudden raining every day for a week. I'm sure the ground's just shedding water like crazy. Love the live videos. Mm-hmm. Right on. Whooping <laughs> lived in a video in a studio. Right on. <sighs> Come on. Now. I just saw some I missed. So similar. Some spots, yeah. It'd have been easier to spray paint it. water <sighs> and I'm also uh, really loading my brush up with paint too to get, you know, to get down inside all that stuff. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I got those at Walmart not too long ago, a big old package of assorted deals for like five bucks. They are not, that is not a quality paintbrush. What I'm saying is it doesn't matter if it dies.
Man, my fingers are going numb. Yes. Anybody else have that problem every once in a while? You might be painting or doing something for a while and your fingers go numb. You gotta like shake it out or maybe it's just me being old and fat. You want this brush? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Because I'm gonna switch to a smaller one. Mm -hmm. What's that? Like one of these type things, like vine things, or did I miss something in the comments? Gloria, yes, I have many times uh, forced myself to finish a project because uh, you just get tired of it. As a matter of fact, I got a project over here on the ground uh, that I'm going to have to force myself to finish. It should have been done a long time ago. And I just backed off of it and never got back to it again. Yep. But if I, you know, I should probably try to switch hands, but I'm like, I'm not coordinated at all with my, well, I'm using my right hand and dropped it, but uh, normally my left hand, I'm not coordinated. See, you should be able to feel it too. Your stuff probably softened up on you a little bit as it soaks up this paint. Sure. So. Hmm. Your no, your uh, paper towels. I should probably try to use my left hand more than I do. To be super honest. Because it would probably help out. Man, that eight carton clay that I shoved into the bottom of the stem because it was kind of a gap, you know, from where I bought it. That color of a dried up almost matches that stem. bad thing you can tell this was brushed because like these legs I didn't pull the I didn't really pull these up and mesh them with the bottom of the pumpkin very well well 
which normally I would have done. Just because that type of thing drives me bonkers. Just like that. Oh no. No, no, no. This new super glue sucks. It takes forever for it to dry. Like I still come across that it was wet and then it dried up on my brush and almost killed my brush. <sighs> I miss the old super glue that set in point more five seconds and you risk gluing your fingers to whatever you were working on. I talked about that before once. I hate it. Hmm? She's talking about while we were doing live once. Yes. I prefer risking setting up quicker. I'm going to blackwash it. Did I put a bunch more spots on him? No, I didn't. Okay. Oh, put on him. Well, I just put a black spot on him. Kind of cut it off. But, uh, I'm going to blackwash him anyway, so. Maybe I can get it to fade in. Yeah, I wondered. I mean, I'm I wonder that stuff the same same way as whether I have some arthritis or something like that. So, Gloria, I'll, we, I'm going to seal them with the spar urethane. Uh, these two, though, I'm probably going to have to baby uh, because my normal projects, I said uh, all my projects I make with Mache, they go outside for 30 days and they get rained on. But generally, I go ahead and seal those things. I do a layer of spar urethane before I paint, and then I paint, and then I do spar urethane again. So... You know, I'm doing everything I can to seal them up. Uh, these, just because of, they've had so much going on with Cam being home and trying to get this stuff done and trying to get these painted before he left, a step of sealing them um, on the first go round. So I might have to watch him and it gets too wet. But the fact that the, Armature is a pretty heavy wire inside here, and this little pumpkin is styrofoam. He's really light. Even if this thing absorbs some water, I don't think I'm going to have any problems with them. I don't think they're going to fold or mess up at all. Your armature really 
is the big deal for anything you're going to do that's going to go outside. Yes, you got to seal everything. That's why I use type 1 2 wood glue in my paste because it's kind of water resistant. I mean, everything that I do um, is to help prevent water. <clears throat> but if your armature underneath is actually strong and made well, um, your stuff can get a bit wet and can get like soggy to the touch. But if your armature is strong, it'll hold up. And then when the sun comes back out, it'll dry right back up like it never even got wet. I've got props that I still use that are made from mache that have going on eight years now. So they've all held up pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, Luke, but I've got it. Well, I haven't repainted any yet, but I've got uh, some of my older pumpkins uh, that honestly do need to be repainted. Uh, my witches, one of my witches is one of my oldest characters, and she, besides I've had some problems with her hands, which I need to remake, but... Her paint and everything is still really good. Her head looks really, really good. But yeah, I've got some, uh, I've got some older pumpkins that need to be uh, repainted. But also, that's kind of it too. If I was smart, it's kind of like a spore urethane, you know. That's kind of like a deck sealer or whatever. You put that on a fence, you put that on your deck, and it seals up for a little while. But over time. It's always recommended to do it again so honestly it'd be smarter that every year before Halloween if I got everything out and kind of hit everything again with the urethane one more time um, it would probably make my paint last a lot longer and I tell myself every once in a while that I'm going to do that uh, but that never happens. <laughs> mm. Right? Hey, Craig, what's up? Good to see you again. All right, we're going to get into this mouth and eye situation real quick. See how clean I can do this without getting it all over everything. And then I want to move, finish these arms up. I should probably. 
<laughs> Man, that I don't know if I get all the super glue out of this. Yeah, it just hit this brush and like instantly glued it. It's crazy. Yeah, this. Yeah, that's that's trash. That is no good anymore. Yeah, you came along pretty quick, all of a sudden. Yeah. Down the same spots. There he is. Well. Yeah. I want to I wanna have spots in mine too, but by the time you do some browns and dry brushing and stuff over the top of it, spots what will seem like they were supposed to be there. <laughs> awesome, we're glad you're here too. And thanks. Pumpkins turned out they're pretty cool. I think. It'll be a good addition to the display this year. Which, my gosh, dude. It's already almost September. I need to start really thinking about putting the yard together. But I've got this other deal I want to make. And I've been talking about it for a YouTube video, too. Yeah. I want it. I really want to get it done. Maybe I should start working on that next. Maybe I can work on it through the week or whatever and then start working the weekends on setting up for Halloween. I've always said I was going to do keep doing facade stuff too and I haven't done anything to do a facade. Maybe I should buy some foam and stuff and make a facade. Yeah, I would really like to make a cool facade for the house. I think it'd be awesome. Maybe I should worry about doing that all through September and Because I don't want to get it on the pumpkin. 
That's only what's making this tough right now because I don't want to paint paint the pumpkin. Yep. So I don't want to get stuff on it. Like if I was going to paint this pumpkin, then I wouldn't care. And then I was going to paint over it and I'd just slop this stuff on. Mm-hmm. Okay, come on. Oh, I don't mind repainting sometimes. I painted some things and hated the paint job and then repainted it so I'd like it again. The hardest thing I have sometimes go through is, like, besides, I enjoy making pumpkins, but, like, each pumpkin is different, I guess, in my head. But a lot of times I don't like making the same projects more than once. Like, I need to make another werewolf because one went bad or whatever, and it's like, I'll get this energy, I want to make something, and then once I make a particular project, it's kind of like out of my system after that, and then I don't want to, like, I did it, it happened, I was able to do it, and then it's like I don't want to do another one. Um, oops, I gotta get past that. Because, like, the pumpkin spider I did a few years ago, like, I sat on that idea for a long time. I really wanted to do it, and I finally did it. And I really like it. But at the same time, the yard needs, like, three or four more of those things. So I've got them all over the place. Because it would make the display look so much better. But I don't have that strong urge to remake the spider again. These little guys, though, in all honesty, because I really didn't work on them for a while. Uh, this was a; these were a pretty quick little project. A couple days of mache and let that dry, and it was basically done. And then time to paint. So these were these were kind of fun kind of quick and fun. I can sit down and do a few of these because it wouldn't take a whole doesn't take a whole lot of time. Alright, I'm gonna stop recording this for a while and then I'll show them the face afterwards. Susan, hello Susan! Thanks for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Thanks for talking. Yep, I got like that. A lot of ideas rolled in my head all the time. And what's the chance that I'm going to be able to paint this mouth and not get this? Keep on, you keep it on you. Okay. There's some clean water here too. I don't want to pull it right off. Yeah, well, these little dudes, um, 
these would be easy to change up so it doesn't feel like it's the same thing over and over again. Like I said, like even just pumpkins, I like doing pumpkins, even though a pumpkin's a pumpkin, but each pumpkin I've done is always like different. So I don't feel like I'm doing the exact same thing over and over. Although trying to do this in this little mouth, I'm almost like, hmm, it might have been easier to have chosen to just paint in this pumpkin. I wish I could be super sloppy with this. Chances are, too, but because I'm going to do a, a black washer with this, I probably could be sloppy with it. It'll still be okay. Oh, I almost missed. I mean, that's like my hand's not quite as steady as it used to be. Right. Especially trying to get in the small areas. I used to be really steady. Oh, you know, oh, I can't do it. So I found a, a guy who creates playlists for creators. And he's got a website, and you can completely use his music and anything you want to for free. It can be in the background of anything. It doesn't matter. And some of it's pretty cool. But since I'm going on up there, I can't do it, so... Since I got the live going up there, but if I had like real streaming software and was doing it off that computer, I could stream the music through the stream streaming software. Right with it. Right. Which would be kind of nice doing these where it's just not quiet. Nice for me. Nice for people watching. I don't know. Why do ghosts like to go to bars? I'm curious for this answer.
Charlotte says, thank you for your service. Uh, her son's in the military also. That's awesome. Ha! That's funny. All right, Cam. Uh, riddle me this. This is Craig. Do this little joke. Riddle me this. Why do ghosts like to go to bars? What? Because they like the booze. Booze. That's pretty funny. Mm -hmm. Oh, this mountain's a pain in the boot. It looks really cool, all carved up. But... Just kidding. I still have to go under. Yeah, yeah, you put them vines all up underneath there. Yeah. That was your artistic choice. I'm today worse than it has in a long time. Could even be like a carpal tunnel or something to do with my elbow, you know. Being in a certain position. Oh, I know that my elbow's in a position long enough that it always comes down. It makes me warm. But I'm not even going to. That's probably from lifting or something. Even try to attempt to paint inside like this mouth with my left hand. So Cam leaves uh, this Tuesday. It's coming up Tuesday. He's got to be back um, in San Diego. So he's got a flight leaving out of Tulsa at 6 a.m. So we're going to get up early, early. Probably around... Three o'clock or so and get on the road that way we can get him to the airport by no later than five and then he's gone for quite a while You haven't got your orders yet? No, we have our orders, but he says I didn't work to orders. I wasn't sure about just his work because he has to have them too, but I don't know if we might be able to check me in too. Well, I'll make sure you get them. Thank you, Kathy. Or Charlotte. Ha! Ah. She says she loves these pumpkin characters. pressure. Thank you. 
Goodness. <laughs> well, that's what we go for here at Unhinged Props is uniqueness all the time. Uh, no. But yeah, no, I mean, I guess that's one way to say things. Since I started this YouTube channel, I have always tried to do things different. Uh, Pumpkin Rot was a big influence back in the day. He's, he makes some killer stuff. Um, Scott Stahl with Stalloween. His stuff is just amazing as well. They were big inspirations for me a long time ago. Um, and I've tried to do my best at all my tutorials and everything else that I've done or whatever, uh, even making pumpkins to do basically my own, my own style. So I'm not, I don't want anybody out there just be like, oh, you're just copying these guys, you know, and going off their coattails or whatever. So. I've always tried my hardest to do things a little bit different, make them a little bit different. I mean, that's even part of why um, I did some cotton ball, played with cotton balls for cotton ball pumpkins because it was a whole other deal that I hadn't seen anybody do. I wouldn't have to be this tedious if I was going to just paint this. Right. Thanks, Vic. Yeah, it's going to be easy to judge. Are you kidding me? Mine's the winner. Plain simple. Yeah, we're gonna see. We're gonna wait because see the people that judge in this aren't mom.
probably is. As soon as I get on this mouth, I'm going to start dry brushing the stem. The final thing I'm going to do is uh, the black wash over the face. Yeah, I like to listen to music generally when I'm doing these things or even filming because uh, there are a lot of times when I'm filming, I'm not talking, it's quiet. But being live on YouTube, uh, I can't just have regular music playing in the background. They'll shut the stream down due to copyright violations. So, it's kind of quiet, and, but, but I did find the guy the other day that makes, he's created a playlist, he's got a website, and it's for creators, it's all, it's completely, completely free, you never get in trouble from it, they'll never get copyright strikes, but every device I have right now that I could be listening to music while we're doing this is currently being used one phone one phone is filming the other camera thing that I normally live stream from is filming over there on cam side I've got this phone up here is doing live and then cams phone is down over here and that's where I can see the comments. I usually do that all off of the computer over here but I'm using it to do a second angle um, recording for a second angle for the uh, YouTube video. See you, Vic. Have a good one, man. <laughs> Dude, this reminds me of cleaning your guys' faces off while you were eating when you were a little bit. Yeah, because I got I'm continually wiping this mouth off because I'm getting paint where it doesn't need to be.
almost got this mouth painted up. Green. It's, a, it's not smooth down in there. It makes it tough. You want a smaller brush? I mean, yeah. Okay. Thank you, yeah, the, this mouth design is pretty cool, I like it, I like it. Holy cow. Oh, I'm just ready to be dry brushing. Remember, right? Craig is from California. He lives in California. Well, I did a pumpkin that's kind of like has fangs on it. A demon pumpkin has got some pretty aggressive teeth.
Get down in there. I'm trying to get a pretty decent coat on the white foam too. Uh, because I'm not sure how the white foam will react to the sealer. Like if it'll melt it or not. suck to go through all this and then kill it while they're sealing it. But the smart way to have done it would have been to, here's the smartest way to have done these, right? Decide that we were going to paint, repaint the skins. And then before even trying to paint this foam, gone in with paint brushes and mache paste and then brush mache paste in on all the foam and sealed the foam up and then you could even spray paint it and stuff inside there to when they foam up and then it would all been safe yeah. you slept down the top portion of the check and see if you have a message yeah this is the new one no like uh, on the top of Yes, ensure everyone is at the office tomorrow for orders. Okay. What? Big press money. You say, uh, what, ask them what time? I didn't had, think anybody had to be there tomorrow. We, did, he, we weren't, but he has our orders. And he didn't give them back to us. So now you've got to get a hold of everybody else? Yeah. Work on Sundays as well. Will it be? Hmm? They pretty much work all the time. They pretty much don't get a day off. I just know they're going to Kansas City Sunday night. And then they have to, uh, they won't be there Monday, and that's why they don't get a day off. Well, what if someone was going to leave early, like Monday, to get down there and make sure they weren't going to be? Stuff. They are leaving there. Some days they leave there on uh, Monday. Because you know, say, you know, if they just leave to go to Kansas City, you know, you're saying that's why we have Monday off. I'm like, well, a lot of their kids were going to go ahead and leave. They would be like, go ahead and take a flight? Yeah. And they would have take a flight and be back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just because it's already. So he's leaving out early. What? He's leaving out early on Monday.
text anybody else, kids or whatever. Or text them all. We already text them all. See you, Charlotte. Thanks for stopping by. Carlos says sounds good. What's up, man? The shirtless Honor has joined the fray. Man, I thought I had the smile pretty good until I just turned the angle on it. Realize that I didn't have it very good. All I can say is where I cut into this and just barely melted that in those sections. Mm -hmm. It's all these different where I get really melted into it. Thanks, man. Yeah, they're coming along pretty cool. It'll be... This should be a fun little YouTube video once this is all done and edited up and put back out there. Okay. I'm going to jack that up if I don't stop. I'm going to stop with that for now. So that's where the face is setting right now. Boy, it looks good on camera, but there's a lot of, trust me, there's a lot of white spaces in that. I think that as I've been kind of pulling this stuff away, the black wash is going to work pretty well on this. It's going to make it look pretty creepy. time and then once I get back you might be close to being done there or even if you're not I guess I can go ahead and film that hey we got this done I'm gonna move on to uh, you know dry brushing the brown and all that junk and I'll have get that on the video so I'll be back I'm gonna clean this stuff up real quick I'm going to make me drink one there too. Oh. Uh, I'm thinking actually. Hmm? I'm messing with this. It's a thing when I'm putting black splotches on it around the eyes and just wipe it. But not, it's not fully painted. Wipe it. Because what I'm going to. After I, yeah, see, after I'm done with that, I'm going to do a, a, like a black wash all over it. And then take a paper towel and kind of lightly just drag up and down on it where it just leaves this black. You'll see. So, like, and then the so eyes like, will have more drape and the mouth like, will have more. Like what I was just saying. So, 
And what you're saying is how you're still my idea. Uh, no, because I said I was going to do it from the very beginning. But, but, you didn't explain Can we go back and replay what I already videoed? You didn't that explain said, it to me. Oh, just because you don't understand what a blackwash is. It means, doesn't mean anything. It means you're still my idea now. Uh-huh. This is my idea. You're still... Yeah.
Oh yeah. Yeah. Try to sabotage it. Yeah. No, I'm still painting. Can be fixed. <clears throat> oh. Do, do. No. I didn't actually. Mm -hmm. so. I'm good. Let's see. Well, I'm back. Da, da, da. And everybody still, everybody still says it's going to be easy to judge. Yeah. Yep. That's the consensus right now. That this is going to be easy to judge. School and like dry brush this white at first and then start doing some oh look at all that black out. oh my gosh <clears throat> I missed a whole bunch all right let's flip them over dang it gosh dang it Whatever I do, don't mix up the colors you're painting with when you're not looking. Okay. Look at that. How, how did I get that many spots underneath you? It doesn't matter. It'll all come. Wow. This is where it matters. And I need I need to do this. Right now. I can still paint better than you with sunglasses on. Oh, you think so? I know so. Okay. You want to steal my ideas here. Oh, is that one it's called when you don't understand what I'm talking about? No, <laughs> no you're just making up random shit. That's what, that's what you do. Yeah, mom's still watching the paper girls or whatever. Bree's in her room watching something. It's already after three o'clock. Kissing the bottom of the case.
I didn't just destroy this. Oh yeah, I'm just... I'm irritated with not trying to... Yeah. So I just let it go everywhere. I'm just stopping. And it seems to have turned out halfway okay. Okay. And what am I missed? I missed. Wait, what? It is pumpkin. <laughs> it had a bung hole. Yeah, there's some plumber's crack right there where my wire went in. So I'm going to do a little black wash over it and try to hide that. Okay. What the heck happened to this thing? Vidya, Vidya. Well, he's still moving a little slow on his base coat over there, but it's coming along. Um, blah, 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 blah. So the black base coat's coming along. Cam's almost tied up on his over there. In the meantime, here's where this guy is standing. Not too bad. Um, could be better in the mouth or whatever. But I think I'm going to go back to old school. I'm going to dry brush a lot of white over this stuff first. And then move on to color. So a little white dry brush first, and then we'll move on to color. Start pulling it all together. I just want to get it some depth, whatever. Um, and try and do it fast at the same time. So enough talking. We're painting.
sand it now. The white? Yeah. Yeah. I think you went after it a little heavier than I did. Yeah. I kind of like how it looked. All right. Let's get some time lapse going on. My paints. From working out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really. I'll do work out tomorrow and go to the office. I'm going to do one today. I'll be here. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Your pumpkin might not be here. One of these things... Win by default. One of these things might come to life and just take you out. Mm-hmm. Just saying. I'll pretend I didn't even read that, Craig. <laughs> yeah, his design's pretty cool. Though. I do like it. It's a neat concept. Andy really, it's, it's really doesn't look too bad at all. He's doing a good job. We're not really doing this stuff, and not having as much of a passion for doing it as I do. He's doing, he's doing good. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't done this in a long time. <clears throat> Dry brush white first and then do color brush over the top. It does add a lot of when you whenever you go to your color. It's kind of a fast cheating way to add a lot of depth uh, to your paint. And uh, the first person I saw that was doing really kind of doing that, like I said, uh, went inspiration that I had back in the day, uh, well, Scott Stahl was the first person I saw um, in his progression pictures where I saw he had dry brushed white, and I wasn't sure if it was just white or if it was a primer or what, and then um, went through. So I did a lot of painting like this uh, at first, and it's, it's really effective. It's pretty easy. But then, like I said before, I didn't I didn't want to get into a routine where it just looked like I was just copying everybody else and what they've been doing. So I pulled away from that. I started doing more just true painting highlights and doing different things. Um, but this technique's great. I mean, it's fast. 
Um, can really add a lot of oomph, a lot of oomph to it real quick without really much effort. It's a, it's very effective. Because then if you're doing it and you really, especially if you used a primer, like a white primer instead of just white paint, like this is white paint. Um, once you did this, then you can come back with your color, just a watered down color. And paint over all of it with your watered down color and then that primer picks up that, that color. And you're done pretty much. And for all you guys out there, if you're enjoying this and you like it and you know other people that are in the artsy stuff, give us a like, share it, subscribe to the channel. That all helps, but especially on the other videos and tutorials. If you like that content, give this stuff a big old thumbs up. Share it with other people. It really does. That's, that does help, and it helps me. It helps with the algorithm. It doesn't even cost you a dime. Or if you don't like it, you can thumbs down. Well, you can't thumbs down anymore, but you can thumbs down it. I remember I had someone who, I don't know who it was, but every video, every single video I put out, there was one person that always, always put a thumbs down. Whatever. I don't care. Uh, dry brushing, <clears throat> it's actually pretty easy. As long as you got texture there, that dry brush is just going to pop that texture right out. The only thing you got to make sure of is that you don't your brush is pretty dry I used to always um, at first hit an area that you couldn't really see to make sure my brush wasn't overly too loaded because that's always a bummer to get under the arms here Cams <clears throat> Cams will pop too. Uh, I'm sure he will dry brush. is as well. His paint pattern will probably follow pretty close. Pretty close to mine. But that really, that dry brush God, I can't. That really brings out the texture. You really see it down here. 
Hello from Wales. Hello. Yeah, see, you can see real quick just that light right there, that dry brush, it really pops out all your textures, so it's kind of nice. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to hit just a little bit quick again with this white real fast, and then I'm going to start adding color to it. I don't know what I said to you. About what? About being on paper every new sunglasses on. Yeah. You got your aviators going on, do you? Okay. I think you're trying to use that as an excuse that if it doesn't turn out good, you'd be like, well, I was wearing, I was wearing glasses. I don't know why you're selling all my ideas, using uh, white paint on your black too. Well, uh, there was a comment that you were in first place until uh, the dry brush started happening, and they're like, oh, no, wait a minute. Gotta take that back. In my mouth. Huh? The mouth is not going to be dry. Well, you don't have to. Don't the mouth just needs to be black. It's going to take forever to dry. Ah, crap. I'm a little heavy. do oh I want to put that uh, hot ones challenge we did I want to edit that up and put that on uh, you said you were bored yeah. what are you doing Rufus Trying to get this brush working for you. You're gonna want newspaper or something that you can uh, here. Just pull it. You're gonna want some newspaper to dry to pull it off with. Pull it off. So have you ever dry brushed? Oh, to make sure it's not just going on or yeah. soaking wet. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. You should have let me make a mistake, though. <laughs> I would have fucked that up. <laughs> Goodness. But thank you for the knowledge. So I don't mess up. Well, it wouldn't be necessarily fair if I. I just totally let you screw it up. All I can say is that right there is weird. Oh, okay. We'll talk about that later. Let's see. This is. Did you have. Yeah, let me see that other brown because this is a, a reddish color. Maybe I'll hit that first and then I'll do. Some brown over that. Or maybe get to some of these lighter browns and I might hit some green on the bottom. We shall see what we want, Rufus. What? Come here. Sit down. Sit down. Sit. Rufus. Hey. 
Sit. Sit. Hey Bree, what's going on? I see you on here. You're always out and about doing something else and then watching these things. Either driving to work or the bank or the gas station or whatever. Someone did it on the show. Makes sense. Yeah. So then, so did uh, Sean too. So. They got like down to the end. They got through everything and like we're doing one more.
this is about just pull it and just wash it out real good and get a paper towel. And... Why do you think the brush is done? Depending on how you're going to do it, if you're doing what I'm doing, you're still going to use that dry brush and that big brush to use just different colors. I mean, if you're just going to completely copy my paint job. You're copying me, then. Or I have stuff planned out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, I can't even see you what you're doing right now. Look at the blind man. You don't even know where my eyes are. Uh, I can see your eyes in those glasses there on the park. This is more of a terracotta color here. What's up, Snickers? Man, you got <coughs> shed all over me earlier. You got my shirt all covered in a crazy amount of fur. Be knows bean, dude is an artist, huh? I guess. I don't know. I just played with it. But thanks. You see, for me, it's the same dark in my bed. You want to go see the high levels. Yeah, you can see them. Let I me mean, have a look. But there's enough light in here to cast through. I like to see your eyes. I'm going to say there's one hand that I won last night at called that Uzi. I wore the sunglasses. It wouldn't. It'd be nice to play Uzi again tonight. I don't know if your mom's going to be feeling good or not. I asked her how she's feeling. She said she didn't know. I don't know. Last night was something else. Last night was fun. Was it was fun. hard when you get six people like that, man. But that makes it so so tough. I am so not color matching that up there. Oh well. Whatever. I don't care. The factory stem can be a different color. Uh, I still got a lot of browns to go through so we'll see what happens. Right. That one hand that one. I could have laid down when I first had it. So that's when like they fed me those nines. I already had a set of queens and Ronnie laid down a set of queens. Right. And I already had a set of three queens. 
I all my sets, I only had two nines. Everything else was sets. I just can't. I mean, nine, so. <clears throat> okay. even having all those guys on there, which makes it tougher, I can't refrain from sandbagging. That's why I held it because I'm like, I was like, either this is going to ruin me, or I'm going to win this entire hand on the next go round. I mean, I, know, I just had a feeling like someone's going to drop a nine. My mom dropped a nine. Then I just dropped a nine. <laughs> See, we miss anything? Hmm, no Christmas. It's Halloween. That's why you make your own, Bree. You make your own big animated pumpkin creatures. That's why we do this. I'll show you how to make it cheap, and then you don't have to go to Home Depot and spend four thousand dollars. You just spend four thousand dollars on materials, you know, in nine years. And then you make one prop. But then you get to say you made it. Okay. Vidya. Oh. First little layer of brown. This is more of a terracotta color. I'd say it looks brown in the video, but it's got a little more reds to it. So I'm going to add basically to keep from going over and over and over and over with this for you guys on here. Um, I'm going to go with a brown and then I'm going to do some lighter browns, some things like that. I might even revert back to some whites just to add a bunch of different kind of texture in the color all the way through. Uh, and I might even do some greens on the bottom and fade up into it. Um, I don't know. But for sure I'm just going to walk through all kinds of different colors of brown um, to make this vine viney and have some interest and it's not just one color. And I'm not going to record this stage. I'll do it on the lighter one. I guess I need to move all these colors where you can get to them and use whatever colors you want. Well, there, the, that's the terracotta. This is more of a brown, an excellent brown. And these are just kind of lighter. This is like a tan, almost a tan. This is almost like an army brown. Um, and this one's even lighter than that one. I'm going to use these to top off some of my stuff with. This green's gone. Pretty much there's that. I'm going to get the other green. You can mix with some blacks and different things. To give it. You can make this muddy green by stirring in some other colors with it. So, whatever you want to do. I'm colorblind. Slightly. I know, so these colors all so, may look the same. A lot of these browns look the exact same. Well, I Except for these two, I can tell the exact difference. And then, but these are pretty close too, as well. You know, besides, yeah. this is way lighter. Uh, this is quite a bit lighter than this one. Mm -hmm. These two are pretty close to the same, but they're still shades. Some shades off. Yep. They're definitely way lighter than that. Yeah. That's what the is. The red one. I see you put the red paint on yours. Mm hmm. That almost seems like straight in the blood to me. It, uh, well, I was kind of mixing with some white at the beginning on my actual newspaper there. And it, it got like a pinky shoe to it. Like a, you're right, kind of like a blood shoe. You. Dude, all my paintbrushes are crapping. Here's more. Here's 
just want to use the bottom of the paintbrush. Yeah, do whatever you want to do. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm so hard on paintbrushes that I don't ever, I haven't spent money on good brushes. Because I'm using, like, I'll wind up whatever, I'll spread paste with them and everything else. Yeah, that's well. Windshield wiper motor stuff. The support's good. You know the funny thing. Here's the such a funny thing is I don't have. I haven't made any animated props at all yet, and basically my background is being a gearhead, uh, <clears throat> working on cars, building motorcycles, and stuff like that. And I haven't spent any time making any simple. Uh, animated prop and I should um, I want to do a uh, cauldron creep but do my own spin on it that'll probably be one that I'll make a video of um, one of these days but Halloween's get like it, this whole year got away from me all of a sudden Halloween's almost here and I'm trying to really kind of focus on this YouTube channel to create some content for everybody and I've kind of pushed off some of these other things that I want to do for Halloween and then all of a sudden Halloween's here. Like I also want to do a big facade and change the way the house looks. And I've wanted to do that for years and I've never done it. Yep, I get a lot of stuff from Harbor Freight and Walmart too. What about what are you gonna do? Those are fucking trash, man. I just realized I got flat paint all over my way. Because you're talking trash, man.
I know I just kind of dulled all that down, but uh, once I start pulling in some lighter browns, again, it'll pop as severely as that white did. So it'll come around.
Okay, where are we going? Thanks, Pamela. Uh, Lupin says you're going to lose now because you took the sunglasses off. So we got through a few layers there of some different browns. Um, right now it's not popping as much as that white did, uh, but I am going to go up with some, um, let's take this up here. I am going to hit it with some lighter browns and that'll bring kind of that texture back out again. Um, like the white did before. Before I do this, I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna hit some spots on it with some of this green. I'm gonna stipple some green here and there on it in different spots, um, whatever, to add a little more interest to it. So anyway, I'm just gonna keep going, playing with colors. Um, Cam's over here. You know, he's doing what he can. <laughs> but he, He's getting it painted up too, so uh, yeah, it's gonna be kind of tight. We'll see how it uh, how it plays out, you know. But it's no contest, I know. you Thank know. You. Thank you. Thank you. I so know back to painting. Thank you. We're accepting your defeat. All right, let's clean some of this out. <laughs> I'm debating whether I run a black wash again over the uh, vines and stuff too when I get done. I don't know. I feel like I'm haphazardly painting this vine. How long do you haphazardly do all this? I, yeah, this whole little project's been haphazardly put together. But they turn out pretty good. I mean, so, yeah, on the camera it looks pretty decent, but man, let me tell you, when I look into that mouth and stuff, and I can see, well, my mouth is there's crazy. a bunch of little bitty white specks in there that are just driving me crazy. But, whatever. You can't, you won't be able to see it out in the yard. These guys obviously can't see it. We've been going on now for 146 minutes. Dang! And we still have eight people. You guys are crazy. Uh, that have been hanging this long crazy to watch us do yeah, this. But I appreciate it. I appreciate all you guys watching. I need like 20,000 of you guys watching. It'd be awesome. Hey, will you hand me that big thing, green paint you're hiding back there, please? It's going yeah, to cost me. Bro, yeah. yeah. What's it going to cost me? I didn't think that far. Let's that's some stout green. I'm not gonna just stay with that. Let's uh, add some of this terracotta color to it. What? What, that does. what? Probably needs to go outside. Mom's probably telling him to come find you. Hey, that might eat it down pretty decent. See that? We're gonna drop it a little, uh, a little bit more. And I just, this has been a waste right here because I'm not gonna use all the screen. You know, I don't know what color I have right now in this. First. See, look, that looks more like a mold. Right. Can't tell, can you? No. No. It's darker. It's more kind of like, you know, like a green mossy mold thing. It would be, can you see the difference between those two? You tell it's darker? Slightly. 
It's darker. It's, it's a completely different. Just like I don't even know what color of this is right now. I put red, I put black in there with my original brown. There's brown. So I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> I don't want any paint with it. Uh, it doesn't look too bad, dude. So I originally did like a black and brown, and that was red on top of what I had. Look at this. This, see this? Woo! This is, uh, I can't remember, it's a crayon Crayola set thing that we got, it was like an art kit deal we got the kids years ago. Um, I mean a long time ago. There's, this has no quality whatsoever, uh, but I want to use it to stipple on some of this green and it's going to work just fine. We're gonna paint a happy little tree over here. You're gonna paint a happy tree in the corner there? Yes, sir. I know you could get that. My Bob Ross kit was coming out. Fire. Can't beat my Bob Ross kit. I need to, this, I need to be filming. And let's bring it back down. Oh, look at that angle. That looks pretty cool. <coughs> yeah. That looks kind of tough. Dude, what? Poison. Yeah, I'm ready to see him finish too. Poison. Like, like, poison. Poison, poison, full effect. By, um, this guy. Yes, uh, Lupa and I have, I do add some things like Spanish moss and stuff. Um, there's a video I did on a man-eating plant where half of it I was like a goober acting in it. And I got some bad reviews on that. A lot of people didn't like the commentary. But anyway, on that one I used uh, Spanish moss in there. And these guys, I mean, some of this can use some Spanish moss. I have bought, I intentionally bought some fall style leaf things last year to use on some of these projects. And uh, I haven't broke them out yet. I might even have to get this white again. Mm -hmm. 
Craig lives in Florida. Right on. I thought he lived. I thought he lived in California. So he lived in Florida. Right on. Jinx. I don't know. Something's going on in there. They're jinxing each other. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm trying to read this thing. Invictus in Nevada. <laughs> I screwed that up. Uh, I'm making Halloween projects all year round, all the time. So I never really even stop. Uh, just because of the fact that most of my stuff is made with uh, mache, paper mache, and it takes so much longer uh, to really build stuff. Most people who are doing yard hunts and stuff right now, uh, this month and September coming up, this becomes their pretty, uh, pretty steady build season when they start doing stuff. I'm going to probably start setting the yard up or working on the yard here in the next couple of weeks. So I'm going to try to work on the yard and do normal work and film YouTube videos for you guys at the same time with more projects coming along the way. Remember. Not try to. Birds don't try. There's do or do not? Yeah, do or do not. There's a try. Man, I like that green though. I might not. Uh, I still gotta do some lighter stuff for it. I don't know if the camera can pick up. Does the camera pick up? Does this camera pick up that green? The lighting is not the best. Anyway, let's dip with some green on there. It looks pretty decent. I'm gonna go back and dry brush some lighter. Um browns on it and maybe even some whites and then I might hit it with some green again I don't know originally I was going to kind of match this paint of this stem that came with this pumpkin but I'm not going to go that light I don't think anyway uh, I'm almost I'm almost done okay I'm still struggling back there but I'm almost done. We're going to do some more lighter yeah, stuff. Okay. I'm going to finish this off with a black wash, but what? Sometimes it's better to be a turtle. <laughs> than the hair? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it's better to be colorblind and not understand what the hell you're doing, too. 
you're going to want to come back over with some light, lighter, and dry brush it like you did your uh, white. Yep. So you can pick your textures back over. Okay. Uh, yes, Craig, is I'll try to, as I put some of it together, I will uh, do some videos on it. It's not that spectacular. If I made a facade and stuff, it'd be cool, but anyway, I'll put some stuff out there so you guys can see it. Um, and I'm going to butcher your name, but I, anyway... I just take some of my stuff down. I got a pretty decent neighborhood. Uh, I don't really worry. I don't have to worry too much about thieves. And plus, everything that's in my yard is not store bought. So, <clears throat> if someone stole my stuff and then put it up somewhere else, it's my stuff. And I know it's my stuff. So, that's not going to be good for them. And I got video footage of almost everything I've made. So, yeah, that's how that would go. But for the most part, I've been doing this for so many years in this little bitty town that everybody looks forward to Halloween. Um, the kids come trick-or-treating here and stuff, so I don't... I haven't had problems with thieves, which is good. Invictus? Invictus? In... He, he did it in two words. How would you say that? Invictus, Invenada, in Invadia, in there's no way in hell I'm ever going to pronounce that. Ain't going to happen. I tried. Mm -hmm. right. What the hell? What? I'm not going to paint on myself. All right, so I did some green. I did some green sip line. It turned out pretty good. I'll turn the camera around so you can kind of see it. And then I am so going to go ahead and go with uh, some more lighter browns on this just to bring the texture back out. And I might even do some whites on top of that. Uh, I don't know. I just kind of want the texture to stick out a little bit better from a further away distance. Up close, it looks pretty good, but <clears throat> this is in the yard or whatever. I want that texture to read from 20, 30 foot away. We're like, oh, that's a, you know, creepy vine. But anyway, let me show you where we're at. So we got a little greens, you know, kind of stippled on here and there. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. The texture in the vine's pretty cool. It's turned out pretty good. Even the little, whoop. Even the little arms and stuff, um, they all look pretty decent. Pretty happy with with all that. So I'm pretty happy with all that texture. It doesn't look too bad. Like I said, I'm going to pop some more of that out with some um, lighter browns, maybe even some whites. Like even an old rotten wood sometimes you see that's got white uh, on the edges and stuff, so that will probably work pretty good. Cam's still coming along. He's working his browns over. So, uh, moving on to lighter colors. Ooh. Hey, Charlotte's back. Waiting on paint to dry. Yeah, waiting on paint to dry can be annoying. What's more annoying than that is waiting on your mache to dry. It takes longer. Electric fence would be hilarious. I turn it on high. Hi, baby. Oh. Holy cow, it came in. Oh, I forgot all only about one of these. We're, only one, oh, three wow. of them came in. Um, we're going to have to figure out. Two more especially coming in. What we want for dinner. I'll order dinner. You know what, dude? We're on the live. You know, 
I'm not going to do this right now. We will go finish painting these. But I'm going to tell them. I think we'll be fine. So I ordered this the other day because Cam's getting ready to leave. Uh, we're kind of into the hot stuff. We did, he, they got me, my wife and uh, him got me for an early birthday present because the birthday's coming up here in a week or so. Um, the full lineup from Hot Ones um, where they do the chicken wings deal, so all the hot sauces. So they got all those. We made wings. He and I the other night did that deal. We filmed it. And I'm probably going to put that on uh, the You Said You Were Bored channel that I have. And so these came in today. I got these. This is the Pocky, the 2002 One Chip Challenge. Um, just came in just now. We're going to do this tonight. I'm going to film it. It's not going to go on Unhinged Productions channel. If I put it on the channel, it will go to the You Said You Were Bored channel. Um, so if you guys are interested in seeing us do other stupid stuff, um, you can catch that on the other channel. I'm sure this is going to hurt. So, anyhow, uh, my wife just brought this down. I just saw this, so you want to give this back to mom? I don't even want to leave these down here. Don't shake them too much. Mom! Anyway. You take these back upstairs. So, on to, hey, Reaper, what are you doing? On to, uh, painting this. I got to Got to get all this done before we do that, because I won't be able to paint afterwards. I go back to painting. <laughs> oh, so this is your new number of one thing that's going to make you win? <laughs> yes, it is. It's what? Are they not right there on top of the dryer? Yes. I am. I am. The ones on top of the dryer are the ones that she was going to wash earlier. He's full Halloween mode, he says. This is going to put him on the edge to win. Uh, the funny thing is, is that's a costume from when he was teeny tiny. I thought it was fitting a lot better when I was younger. And he did. Well, you were a lot littler back then. Alright. Okay, I think I'm just going to go after it. I don't think I'm going to step that. I think I'm just going to straight step in this to... Uh, this lighter paint. Yep, you want this? There you go. So let's just go straight to this. Uh, I had a buddy, a buddy of mine, I still have my buddy, my buddy's still, you know, he's not dead or anything, but we did, years ago, I was showing him out, and he, we were making kind of pumpkins together and stuff, and, uh, Joplin does this art walk thing, and we're selling them there, which I need to get back into doing some of that, but he made a, uh, a creepy clown pumpkin mixed deal, and it, uh, it was really cool, it looked really cool. Mm -hmm. Until Cam broke him. I didn't break him. I wonder if I can get your sister to make me a drink, but I don't know where she's at. That sucks. So I'm gonna go even. I'm I'm just gonna go for the light uh, tan now and dry brush that over all this, and hopefully it looks pretty decent. <laughs> if it brightens it up too much, I'll do a black watch over it. But. Hopefully it won't. Uh, when it comes to vines and stuff, like I've never really, I don't really have a good routine on coloring and painting vines because the stems of the pumpkin, I usually you leave that to last and just kind of roll through it and whatever. So right now I'm just playing with this to find out what's going to look right and work right. Um, so I don't have a good method yet for that. Mm. 
also a grill face would be interesting on the pumpkin too. Yes, major. This one more too? Yes. By far. That almost looks like you've probably never seen it. Sometimes when you got bad poop and the poop's green, that's what your that's the color you just made. Oh, good. Like I said, it's been quite this is already to be on how to apply shit to the skin. It's gonna work well. I think it's gonna look pretty, pretty gnarly. You've kept that camera going on your angle over there, right? Yeah, not the whole time. I paused it a few times. Why? Well, I'm just making sure that you're remembering to do it to get footage. Yeah, I just turned that off and I'll record it this screen. And yep, you're in Halloween mode for sure. That's right. And then Craig says, so, if you've never seen a father and son doing crafts, here's your example. And you run around in your Halloween mask. Hey, now, just tell you to make sure he's Is that Bree? Mom? Oh. Oh, it is Bree. Is it Bree? Bree. Hey Bree, when you're down there, will you make me will you make me drink, please? Thank you. Bree making Harry's drink. Oh. Let's make it once 
these kids. Yep. My ones that are just came on when you left, they're yeah. just they're still stuck in their that whole scenario. They're all hating life. Yep. There's some that are trying to quit. Cam, you're absolutely adorable. Uh, yes, yeah, dry, I like dry brushing. That's a good technique. You get a lot out of it. Uh, no, I don't have a video of doing a craft with Carrie. Um, she doesn't want to be seen, she says. Uh, she does a lot of, like, she makes, like, cards and does calligraphy and stuff so she makes like she'll make halloween cards she makes christmas cards and they're i mean they're all super awesome um i've tried to get her to start a youtube channel and show the ideas and show how she's made them and do all that stuff but i can't get her to do it she doesn't um, understand that she'll be able to so many, so many subscribers i think that she would do really really well i think a channel like that would probably take off really good for her. But it would be fun to do a craft. But she won't do paper mache either. She doesn't want to get her hands nasty. So she refuses to do that. Now one of the last couple times that we did live when she was down here helping uh, keep track of the comments, she finally poked her head around the corner and got on camera. And I teased her for finally doing it. Because that's even why I've tried to convince her to do a, a YouTube channel, you know, with her cards and different things. Because she's got quite a bit of talent, too. And um, she doesn't want to do it because she says she doesn't want to have to put her face on. Um, she doesn't want to be seen or whatever. I tried to tell her she could do it and just show her hands and then just dub over it. But whatever. <laughs> See, I think that's kind of looking a little more like rotten, aged, an aged vine. Oh, am I not filming this? Are you kidding me? Again? Seriously? Really? Wow. Dang it. I have lost so much footage trying to do this, talk to you guys at the same time, and pay attention to what's going on, and forget oh, so to hit now you're gonna put go. The blame on your viewers. That's no, I'm just saying, there's so much going on. That's pretty muddy though.
interesting and strange drama I can buy. Yeah, kind of. I mean, it's just... Oh, what, 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 can't tell. what I'm saying is, like, being muddy is... Um, lot losing highlights. You know, as far as uh, keeping around with the texture, which is hard to... Like, even this, I don't think is the best um, at all. And it can be, to me, it's kind of a pain. Sometimes it's... A lot of times it's easier to do this and go real high with your highlights and then come back over and do a brown wash or a black wash right over the top of all this stuff and then wipe it off the top and let those last colors kind of just recess down into everything. And you can kind of like pull everything together. And it used to be how a lot of my paint schemes were. I've been trying to kind of get away from that. Why? Huh? Why? Because I've been trying to just improve my painting skills and do things in different ways. If that makes any sense. Oh, that's funny, Craig. No, I didn't see that stuff. Sorry. Yeah, the clown hair is red for show. Uh, yeah, Lupin, there are lots of channels where people only show their hands. Yeah, it's good to have plenty of freaking copies. It keeps from being bored, that's for sure. Hands. All right. What do I call you? Big dog. Big dog, huh? Body by big dog. Body by big dog, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna have to just take a step back. Oh man, she really filled that up. She made me strong. Uh, yeah, she made pretty out. But she didn't. I don't know what that is, but it's on Jim Bean. I think it's the stuff from last pot. It's really sweet. And the problem with painting is like I could go, I could just go and go and go and go and go and go. Right? And add more colors and try new things. And
And I think I'm stopping right there with the vines. Hey, what's up, Keith? Didn't see you were here. Mm. Ah. Keith says, what did I just click on to with the clown wig? That's Cam trying to convince himself that... Uh, He's going to win this contest by throwing a mask on. Listen, I'm not going to mess myself in the face of I'm going to show you. Are you showing Halloween spirit? Halloween spirit. That's what that is? Yes. So he's he's, he's showing Halloween spirit. We see a lot over here sitting, dressed up like Santa Claus. And that wasn't even my gut. I lost Betty a little bit because I threw my son. Alright. Yeah, that vine looks pretty cool. I dig that. No. I might hit a little more green on the bottom side, but other than that, I think that vine's going to work. I know, it was going on up my other side. Except for the fact that it looks like some of this. <laughs> you got some greens in here and that looks pretty decent. It's uh it's that, toned down which look pretty they look pretty good. Uh, as far as like just me, I would just do something to highlight it. I think there's no. green to highlight it black. You're gonna highlight your whole thing like what I did with the lighter green? Yeah, I think so. Alright, go for it. And then I'm getting ready to do a black wash. So let's get on here real quick. All right, so I can go all day long and paint, 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 paint. Um, but I think I'm gonna call it stops on the vine. So I'll show you what it looks like. Let's move this over here because I don't want that background over there, that crap over there. Let me see. I'll just shift this with junk over real fast. Man, you know what? I keep thinking about this because we're kind of being goobers doing this, and then this is going to be live. Like, this is live now, but then later it's going to be live where people can watch it. And it's just so. Why do you want us? Unprofessional. You need a paper towel? Yeah. What, 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 why do you need to be uh, It doesn't necessarily need to be, but... Okay. Anyway, let's say, let's look at this. Oop, turn around. Is this totally Man, bad? that white light. That's too bright. Oh, shoot. Well, that's almost too dark. Wait, 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 stop. You run up from one camera too. Yeah. So you put that on there? And I can bring it down. Yeah. Yeah, that's just gonna be fun. Alright, so you came back over. That kind of looks white uh, in the camera, but it's more of a tan. It just brought out some highlights where you can see that stuff a little better. I may... I want a black wash over the pumpkin. And I may hit this with a black wash uh, once again just to kind of tone 
some of that back down again so it doesn't look so white. But uh, not too bad. Turn. Yeah, so I'm going to do... It looks pretty cool back there. I want to do a black wash over the top of the pumpkin. And maybe over the stems. I'm going to call this thing good. Uh, Cam and has now turned into a clown. That I don't know if you guys noticed that in all the filming earlier or not. Um, and sunglasses. Nah, he's working on his... So, anyway, we'll catch back up. Are you trying to dry brush that as a highlight? See, grab a rag, wipe that down. You just drilled that too hard. Do you want some help? No, I'm not a man. Because if you just did a highlight, right, like we're dry brush, it would look pretty freaking cool. But what I'm saying, even with that, that was a mistake, yeah. But you're going so heavy that you're just basically you're not hitting the top sides right it's like if you had see how that's just catching the very kind of top yeah right you're just trying to catch those That, that texture just right at the very top. It might help you out. Anyway, you can use that, use that, whatever Did you, you want to do. You not handle seeing me struggle this bad. Huh, it's hard. It's hard to watch. <laughs> because I can see where it could go and where it could be like almost that that's almost like almost need to be hit with some ground again so, yep, unless you just went and bring, I don't know you can save it it's going to be okay but uh, even what they, if you're going to use that brush you really need to dab a whole lot of it because it's still holding quite a bit of it the whole point of dry brushes your brush is see to be careful because you're rubbing your brown off too right you're coming all the way back down so you can't rub real hard you just kind of have to go, go over this with what you got because we're not like letting this dry up, and if we let this dry up, and then let's say we sprayed with some kind of a rattle can clear or something, and then came back over, and you were rubbing off, you could rub off real hard because that would seal that up, and you wouldn't pull your other paint. So you, yeah, you, got, you need to dab the living crap out of that all over the place. Because the whole point of really dry brushing is where it's not really hardly any paint in your brush at all, and when you're hitting it, it's just barely pulling and barely pulling off the top. Right on. So you just been? Did you film another? Is it a shopping deal or did you make something? I'm curious on that. I watched the past few. Um, I need to comment more on everybody else's stuff because I want. You know, I'm always telling people to comment on mine. I need to do the same in return. But I have watched the past few. Uh, you guys going around shopping around, which has been interesting. Yeah, at least he didn't dip himself in glitter. <laughs> See, I eat crowns. I don't paint. That's funny. Stuff. So, Craig says, so any single females, please submit your request to date Cam. He's the one in the clown costume. <laughs> All right. This is either going to work out really well or I'm going to kill this pumpkin right now. I'm very aware of the fact that you don't have any idea what you're doing. Sorry about my language. But I can't see anything that's going on. Even with my mask. Right on. 
You I just can't tell, like, the highlights, I can't even tell what's going on. Even when you were applying the highlights, I couldn't see anything. It was just brown. Could you see it when you did the white over everything? Yeah. Well, maybe you should highlight it white. Maybe so. Dry brush white. Maybe. So if you're going to do that, though, then I would take that green, and I would do what you're doing with the green all the way up through so it's consistent at least. Because otherwise you're gonna have this weird green blotchy crap on the bottom. Wait, there's green stuff on the bottom? Yeah, you got green all over this, man. So I would go all the way with that dry brush, what you're doing, right? I would take that green and just kind of pull it all the way in, right? So at least it's consistent. Yeah, I understand. And then if you can see the white better, then I would take the white and dry brush some white over the top. So you just kind of get that pop again back out of it, right? And that's going to help you out. Yeah, I, 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 I legit cannot see any. Well, I'm legit trying to tell you that. Uh, I, I, I understand. That's the direction you need to go. I want to follow your instructions. Uh, I need. Let's cut. Do I have a pocket? Do I have a little knife in here? Yeah, I got scissors right here. Just might have made that too thin. All right, I'm going to do a black wash over this pumpkin. Uh, Does it look like it? Does it look like it all the way up? Yes. Yes. Yes, I can see greens all the way up through there. Okay. okay. So this could kill. This could kill it. Well, hopefully, it doesn't. Well, hello, 1976 Sammy, Jay, uh, glad to see you. Uh, hopefully you're new here. Uh, hopefully you've subscribed to the channel. That would be great as well. Uh, I do, I have sold my work in the past. I need to, uh, I need to make some for sale. These ones here in particular are not for sale. They're going to be going out in the yard for Halloween. Um, I'm trying to switch some gears. Maybe next year I uh, might try to throw a bunch of pumpkins together to sell later on. I'm just really trying to move this YouTube channel somewhere. And then maybe I'll do... The problem is, is with these being mache pumpkins, I get so much time wrapped in, up into them. It's very hard to price them reasonably where most people would want to buy one. Um, that's the only drawback. Oh, right on. Thanks, Shannon. The uh, Twisted Snowman. There's a video of him, too, on the channel. You can go learn how to make him and make one. Yeah. 
So yes, I made him. He's out of mache. Three different balls. Uh, the arms are wire with hot glue. Uh, there is a full tutorial on how I made him. Uh, you can follow along on it and make one yourself. And there's also... Yeah, I'm just going to order something for dinner. I don't know yet. You guys need to figure out what you want. No, I'm just know. trying to get this done so we're done. Or you whatever, it's a key with mom. Yeah, I do. It's a mess with the key. Alright, here we go. Let's see if we kill a thing. start filming us. Are you kidding me? This is going to hang on too long. Ah! Wow. Oh, so No, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. That's going to work out nice. And then we're going to come back in and hit those. Some of these areas are real dark again. All right, so, yeah, I like the black wash on him. It's pulling it out. I'm going to come back and get these recessed areas even more once I get a full um, once I get a full coat on him all the way around.
I should be too much longer. Reverse! Come here. Stop of this, so I can get food for everybody for your sister, because mom obviously doesn't feel good. All right, that darkens you up quite a bit. That looks a little bit better. I'm gonna put a little bit more down these recesses. I know you're showing them, but time lapse is gonna be weird. Okay,
I'm not sure. Oh, I think in the top drawer over there.
Okay. All right. We did a little black wash over all that. I darkened it down a little bit. Made him look a little bit creepier. So, yeah, I dig that. And a butt crack just about disappeared along with the rest of it. So, good to go. And I'm going to leave this right here. Because we're going to have to go eat. Uh, did I not time lapse any of that? Yeah, it is. You stopped it. Okay. And then I'm going to have to film. I'll have to film it later for the big reveal. My guy's finished. Yeah, yeah, finished tomorrow, I'll call your guy finished or whatever, so I can wind up shooting the other footage. Whatever. All right, we're out of here for this evening. I've got people who want dinner, uh, so we got to order dinner. We got to get some food coming in. So we're out. Cam's almost done. He's not too far behind me. I'm calling my paint job done for this point. So once he gets this done, then I want to do some filming after that. And we'll get this whole thing turned into a YouTube video where you guys can vote on the winner of who you think it is. So anyway, we'll catch you all later. Uh, real quick, Craig, I use spar urethane to to protect my creations. Do what, bub?